What I do find is very sexy is the new Fortney stamp with the footballers kicking the legs up. Yes, I think so. It could be Trevor, I think. Wait, should I just answer? The point is, those things are kind of rather meaningless, in a way, aren't they? For instance, I mean, if next week this country did collapse, but on the very day it collapsed, you met your absolute true love, you wouldn't give two hoots about the bloody place collapsing, would you? I mean, you know, you'd think, oh, all's right with the world. If we have a sandwich and a, and a glass of beer, it doesn't matter. I mean, in a way, they're that meaningless, aren't they? I never, for instance, uh, I never uh, plan, I can't plan a working day, you see. Really. But in California, say, if I work, I used to work on a morning. And then in the afternoon it got very hot and sunny, so I'd go and lie on the beach. And then I'd work again in the evening. And I'd maybe work until about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. And then I'd go for a drink, you see. And in California the bars don't close until 2, which seems to me in a way, the ideal hour, if you're going to close them at all, it's the ideal hour, because in a way it's not too late, and you can make up your mind about things, I suppose, you see, at two o'clock. Four o'clock is a bit late, really. But anyway, you can do it, you, see, you know, work. I seem to work in the evening and do that. In London you can't do this, because if you want to go out for a drink, unless you go to those awful... Uh, places that are my pet hates really. What's that place called? I went once. Um, it looks like a, a rhythm and blues Angus steakhouse. It's got tartan on the walls. But the, the bills seem to be, uh, it, you know, it costs, each drink seems to cost about a pound or something. It's just ridiculous. I just object to paying a pound for one drink in a place like that anyway. It's not a pro In fact, the chairs are so small, it's like a, a, an organised children's tea party. It's terrible. Because, I mean, in comparison with Bradford, I suppose it is a kind of swinging place, but I mean, in comparison with lots and lots of other cities, it, it seems to me, I mean, I think of London now sometimes like I, I used to think of Bradford. When I first came to London, I thought, oh, that's so much better than Bradford. Well, now when I go to America, I think of London like, oh, the whole Bradford, it's so much better here. In some ways, it's much more democratic, you see, and that's why London, I don't think, will ever really be a, a, a what you'd call a swinging place. You see, it's nightlife in London. You need too much money. Uh, for it. And because of that, you can't go in any place and meet a plumber from Camberwell. Whereas in New York, you could. I mean, you could go in a bar and meet the equivalent. Some plumber from Brooklyn could be sat at the next stool. And some other guy, you know, a, a movie maker from Hollywood could be sat at the, at the, on the next stool. I mean, it just that can happen. Here it just doesn't. The, the nightlife, which some people really think is, is terrific. I mean, obviously somebody's really sold the idea, haven't they? And as far as I can see, they must make a fortune. But it's... What's that? Did I tell you a story? I'll tell you a story. Do you know Eric Burden? Yeah. The animals. Well, it was on, a, I think it was on a television program. I told you a story, did I? Of, uh, now, I mean, uh, he's a, a musician in London, isn't he? Um, 
and he, we were talking about America, matter of fact. He said he didn't like it really at all. And he gave, he told me this story as a story against America. And he said he was in uh, New York and um, he was with a policeman, you see, a cop. I suppose it's a bit different from his singer and he thought people might attack him or something. But anyway, they went in this bar and there was music playing, you see, there was a jukebox. And the cop said to the guy behind the bar, can you dance in here? And they said, sure. So he hung up his gun and started dancing with a girl, you see. And Eric Burden said, this was terrible. He said, that cop is the sort of cop who'd take a backhand and, you know, money and this, that and the other. And he thought it was terrible. Well, I thought it sounded marvellous. I mean, really, it's kind of like an ideal for a musician. I said it simply proved there were more art lovers there. He was affected by the music when he went in the bar. And the idea of him hanging up a gun, I thought was terrific. But he thought it was terrible. Well, I suppose, I mean, in a way, maybe lots of other people in London would think that situation was terrible, if he did. Would they? I suppose a lot of them would. I, I think it's great. But it's, it's hardly the story you'd say to run down America, is it? I wouldn't think so. I, if it had happened to me, if it happened to me, I would be always telling it, saying what a great place it was.